Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about my appearance, I'm having a lazy day. So today's video is kind of like a spend the afternoon with me. So I deep cleaned my fridge, I cleaned my oven, and I cooked spaghetti and meatballs for tea. If you'd like to see any more of these videos, please like and comment. I will leave the recipe for everything down below and also the cleaning products and things that I used. So I hope you enjoy this video. So I start off by removing all the products out of the fridge, all the food. Can't you tell that this family loves cheese? <laughs> Then I remove all of the drawers and shelves and compartments for them to be cleaned. And then I clean the inside of the fridge with my Pink Stuff spray and a cloth. I'm using the Pink Stuff for the whole of the fridge. Um, I use that with a cloth and then I dry it up with some kitchen roll. I can't be sad with you Just take my hand and fly up to the drive. Now that the fridge is all clean, I put all of the shelves back and then restock the fridge in a better order than how I found it. Uh, the little white tray that I was just showing you is a retractable fridge organiser. I got it off Cherries, which is like an online pound shop comes in handy for like fruit and things, I put my pepper armies in there, but you can make it as small and big as you like. Then I'm just filling up our water filter jug and popping that back in the fridge as well. After I've done that, I then take a antibacterial wipe and wipe down the front of the fridge. These are the products I'm using, the antibacterial wipes from Aldi, the Pink Stuff multi-purpose spray, the Pink Stuff paste, a normal cloth and a scrub mummy. I finally purchased one. Um, I normally don't buy them, I just get normal sponges because they're a little bit expensive but I thought why not treat yourself and I wasn't disappointed. Next I move on to the oven, so I just use the Pink Stuff paste and the Scrub Mummy for this. Uh, scrub inside and use the cloth to rinse it off afterwards. For the outside of the oven I use furniture polish actually. I find this is really good for glass and mirrors and stuff, so it especially works well on the silver part where the knobs are.
Lastly, I do the hob, so I remove any dirt and dust with the antibacterial wipes. Then I use the pink stuff paste and the scrub mummy and use the cloth to rinse it off. And then I finish it off with kitchen roll to make it shiny. This is the dirty water after cleaning the oven. I thought you guys would like to see it. <laughs> so time to start cooking the spaghetti and meatballs. I start with putting spaghetti in a pan with water and salt and put that onto heat. Next I get a frying pan with a little bit of oil in it to fry the meatballs. I got these meatballs from Lidl, um, Aldi's do some really nice ones. Next I just use a tomato sauce, any tomato sauce will do. I can be sad with you, just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so... I add black pepper salt seasonal um i love seasonal you can get that from you used to be able to get it from aldi's uh that was my favorite one but they've stopped doing it now so i get mine from tesco's you can get it from lidl um i use it for most of my cooking after that i add mixed herbs and i love using chicken stock cubes in my meals so not the actual cubes they're like jelly ones it just adds a little bit of extra flavor to it Put that on a medium heat and keep stirring it. Since you have been gone, like I was told, you make sure you flip over your meatballs every now and again to make sure that they are cooking on all sides. Next I'm going to be making my own garlic bread because I prefer it. So I use tiger bread and to a bowl I add butter, any butter will do. Garlic paste and normally I'd use parsley, dried parsley but we haven't got any so I'm using mixed herbs. And mix that all together and then just spread it on your bread as normal. Since you have been gone, like I was told. I can't be sad with you Just take my hand and fly Up to the top Where the skies are so clear With you I wanna stay with you I wanna stay with you I wanna stay with you stirring and flipping your meatballs and then once your spaghetti is done you can drain that add the sauce to your meatballs and then serve now I'm adding the garlic bread to the grill for a couple of minutes just so that the bread toasts and the butter melts I would just like to add that my partner and I have extremely large appetites, so yes, you are seeing us cooking 24 meatballs and a jar of sauce for the pair of us, but we both have large appetites and enjoy our food. Like I was told. 